Year 50, Day 21. I have more than exhausted my resources here. Beyond the dwindling food and fresh water, I have not found any replacement parts for the watch in nearly five years. All this time, and I still don't understand how it works. But I have nearly enough food to allow my travel to independence. It was many years before I worked with the nerve to actually open the watch. Inside, I found my dress. This is all I have and where I'm going, although I hold no real hope of finding anything there. Time flies over this, but it leaves its shadow behind. I've long since eaten everything from the canteen. I've resorted to raiding the kitchen in an effort to gather enough supplies for my journey. It's gonna be one heck of a food shortage in this camp if I ever get that clock ticking again. Heat takes time. Time I don't have. Gosh, I've forgotten what a cooked meal tastes like. But good food isn't the only thing I've been hard pressed to find. I forgot what it's like to be connected to the world. Three days until I reach independence. I barely remember what a night sky looks like. I didn't consider how hard it would be to sleep here. Who knows where the next river crossing is? More than 10 miles, my food won't last. I could turn around, but what to? No reason to stop now. This is it, independence. Haven't seen it since I was a buckaroo. Knuckles brought me here. He was going to the mini mics, but he let me wait at Mock Rock next door. I could almost still hear the music today. I'm close now, blocks away. I need to start searching for food soon, or perhaps I won't have to. They say time is never found again. True for me, but perhaps not for the rest of them. The only thing that kept me going all these years was the aching dread that it wasn't I who was frozen in time, but everyone else.